good morning, everyone. Rise and shine with Dawn. I'm Betsy. And I'm Yao Xiang. So we're going to be guiding you through a core blast Pilates workout today. And uh, it's going to be beginner friendly, so do listen out for options as we go along. First off, thank you so much for waking up early to join all of us. There were 233 cases of uh, COVID uh, infections yesterday. So yes, everyone, please stay home, stay safe, but do stay active. So with a lineup of uh, programs that we have here with uh, Get Active TV uh, and My, My Sports SG, you have a variety of classes to keep you entertained, not just with working out, but also entertained. So 8.30 to 9.30 in the mornings, do join us for a workout. But later on at 10 o'clock, you can actually join Barbara as well as Kelly um, for their talk show. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can also learn some healthy recipes. Learn some healthy recipes um, from some chefs in Singapore. So without further ado, we're going to start with our first workout this week, Pilates Core Blast. All you need is a Pilates or yoga mat. No socks or shoes needed, but you can wear your socks um, if you feel cold. All right, so uh, we're going to start with uh, some breathing exercises first. Many of you have asked, what's the difference between Pilates breathing um, and other disciplines, especially with yoga? The way we breathe here in Pilates doesn't just help us to get oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, but it's really to help to exercise what we call the deep core muscles as well. There's the core, your abs, back, your hips, your butt, your thighs, which we use to move. But there's also your deep core muscles, which we use to breathe. But it also helps as a brace from within. So when we inhale, it is through your nose, but the shoulders don't rise and fall. So it goes to your ribs. So if everybody, we can have you place your hands on your ribs. We're going to start to feel our rib cage moving, right? Rib cage breathing. So as you inhale, take a breath in and feel the ribs expand. As you exhale through your mouth, you should feel it contract. We're going to do it again, but this time I want you to imagine 10 candles on a birthday cake, blow them all off, right? Let's do that together two times, right? Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Do that again. Inhale and out. Relax your hands back down once again. So this is one way that we breathe here. And it's a little more of an effort on the exhale, I want you to think about a more natural breath in, but a more, but more effort on the breath out. If you'd like to put more effort into it, it's like we're, we're trying to switch on our laughing, coughing, sneezing muscles. So you can also imagine that you're trying to tell 20 children to keep quiet. Can you put a finger in front of your mouth and do this? So you'll realize that you actually create more resistance for you to push the air out. Kind of like how a, a golfer uh, when they whack the ball, there's a sound. When they, on, on the effort, they do push the air out, like a tennis player as well. So we kind of do the same thing here. Effort is on the exhale. So can we try this out two times, in through nose and out through mouth, like you're trying to tell 20 children, keep quiet, right? Hands on the ribs once again. Inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. The general rule of thumb, we inhale to prepare. We exhale on the effort. When in doubt, breathe normal. But this method of breathing is going to help you get more out of your practice. Let's all come into a diamond leg sit first. All right, so scoot your hips backwards a little bit if you need to. Feet are together. Take your arms out to the side. We're going to start to move the arms together with our breathing. Take an inhale, reach both arms up. Palms face down. Exhale, press down. Like you have a pile of cushions under each hand. Inhale, bring your arms up. And then exhale, press to come down. Get used to moving at the speed of your breath. Exhale. So we never move too fast. We don't use momentum here. One more time. Inhale, we use control. Exhale, press the hands to come down. Good. And now let's take your hands onto your knees this time around. Bring your knees together. Turn towards your right side or your left side so you can still face us. All right. I'm going to have your hips right in the center of your mat. Take your arms out towards the front once again. Relax your shoulders. Pull your armpits closer towards your waist. Now, if you can squeeze your knees in towards the center for me as well, we're going to use your inner thighs. They're actually your lesser known core muscles, yeah? Now, take an inhale here. As you exhale, can you crunch and lean back a little bit? Good. Trying to form a C-shape with the spine. Come back up again. Inhale. Do that again. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. We'll do that two more times, all right? Inhale. 
It's like you're trying to pull a strap. Exhale as you lean backwards. Inhale. One more time here. Belly to spine. Exhale as you lean back, forming a C shape. Now inhale. Let's see if you can go down a little bit lower now. Exhale. If you cannot, you just stay where you were, right? Good. Inhale. Come back up. Go again. Four more. Inhale. Soften your shoulders. Exhale. Lean back. Hover your ribs away from the ground. Inhale. Sit up tall. Two more times. Exhale. Lean back. Good. Inhale. Come on up. One last one. Exhale. Lean back. Good. Come on up. Now, relax your hands down on your thighs. The goal is to always switch on your invisible bicycle shorts. Abs, back, hips, butt, thighs. When we're doing the movements here. So try not to switch them off. Your breath helps you to switch on the insides of your bicycle shorts. Now this time we're going to make the movement a little bit harder. But watch, right? So as we come down to the halfway mark, Betsy, if you can, you're going to go slightly lower. <laughs> Yao Xiang will do um, an option where if we, if we need to, we just move the arms up and down at this angle. So Betsy will go like full range. Exhale, big face. All right, so let's do this together eight times. All right, get ready and inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, press the arms to come down. Very good. Inhale. Now, if I were to give you a 10 cent coin, exhale between your knees. Inhale, you try not to drop it. All right. Exhale, press the arms to come down. Do that again. Four. And exhale, press the arms down. Five. Imagine somebody's going to punch you in your belly. Exhale, and you're getting ready for it. All right. Three more times. Feeling it already, yeah? Exhale, press. <laughs> I lost count. I think I got two more here. Exhale, press the lower. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, press. And come on up. <sighs> How'd that feel? Good. How'd that? Warmed up. Yeah. Warming up? Okay. Now, we're going to come back onto the ground this time, okay? Um, but what I want you to imagine is I gave you a ping pong ball to hold between your chin and your chest. I'm also giving you an invisible bowl of soup, right? So um, imagine if you were holding onto the ping pong ball and that bowl of soup, okay? You don't want to spill that soup. So we're going to keep the pelvis as still as we possibly can. And that ping pong ball does not drop, all right? So we want to avoid looking up towards the ceiling. So guys, just give this a, give this a try, right? A very simple movement. Let's bring our feet closer towards us to facilitate this, all right? Arms are going to reach out to the sides here. So you realize that there's no impact involved with this at all. Now watch. As I exhale, I'm going to reach my fingers in the direction of my ankles. I'm looking towards my thighs. Inhale, we lower down here. Right? Now option. If you have difficulty lifting your head, neck, shoulder blades off the ground, you're going to have one hand or both hands supporting behind your head to crunch on up this way. But watch. I'm bringing my ribs towards my hips. I'm not bringing my hips towards my ribs, all right? So let's keep the hips still. We don't spill the water towards us here, all right? Let's do this together 10 times, all right? Get, in, get your arms up to the side for option two. Option one, you're going to follow Yao Xiang. Elbows are open now if you're doing that. Inhale, prepare. And then exhale. Reach forwards at the same time. Inhale to lower. And then exhale. So if you have your arms straight like myself and Betty, in, uh, Betsy, inhale. We're going to have our, L, our armpits pulling towards our waist. Inhale to lower and exhale four. Inhale to lower, exhale five. Inhale lower, ping pong ball is there. Exhale for six. Right. Inhale to lower, exhale seven. Inhale slow to lower, yeah. Exhale eight. So it's not a sudden movement. Let's go two more times here. Inhale. And exhale, up, and slowly lower down, nice. Look to the right side, look to the left side, relax your neck. So you should have felt your abdominals working here, but not so much of a neck strain. It is quite common for people to strain the neck unnecessarily when you're doing Pilates. The goal is to try to use your abs more instead of straining your neck. So sometimes it helps when, you, when your neck gets tired, but you, you encourage your abs to work a little bit harder. When the neck, neck feels tired, crunch harder, right? Mm -hmm. Next up here, let's work with keeping the pelvis very still as we move the legs, right? So let's take your legs up to a coffee table position, right? So if I put a tray of tea on your, on your shins, you're trying not to drop it, right? But from this position, watch, I'm going to press my arms down to help with stability first. We're going to extend one leg forwards, right? Now at this angle, it's easier. Option two, we're going to lower the leg closer towards the ground, but 
you want to make sure that your back does not start to arch away from the ground. That bowl of soup does not spill, all right? Now exhale, bring it back in. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg forwards. And then exhale, pull it back in. Do again, right side, inhale. And exhale, pull back in. Left side. So we keep alternating. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale. And pull. Now poke yourself in your belly. Inhale, other side. Make sure the belly wall, exhale, always stays firm. I think this is five, right, Betsy? <laughs> exhale, really now. Inhale, extend. And exhale, pull it back in. Nine. And out. One last one. Ten. And exhale and stop. Relax. All right. So I'm going to do a similar movement with the legs, but watch. I'm going to involve the arms now. So remember, in Pilates, we use the legs, the arms, and sometimes the head as tools to challenge the core muscles that I mentioned earlier on. So emphasize using your core first before you go for bigger movements. If you need to, do a baby movement of whatever we are doing, right? Now watch. I'm going to hold my crunch like we did earlier. I'm going to take my legs up like we did earlier. I'm going to extend one leg out like we just did. Option, both hands on me. As you exhale, switch sides. Now let's do some brain work here, all right? Opposite hand, sorry, the outside hand is on the shin, uh, sorry, on the ankle if you can. If you get confused, both hands stay on the knee, right? Now we're going to switch. Inhale, change. Exhale, change. Good. Inhale. Now if you have to, please put your head down briefly. Exhale and change. And three. And out. And four. Let's do ten on each side. Exhale, switch. And five. Exhale, switch. And six. Exhale, switch. You're still bracing for someone who's about to punch you in the stomach. Exhale, switch. Let's do four more here. And out. Good. Last three. Two more. And out. One last one. Inhale. And exhale. And stop. Yeah, put your head down, extend your arms back, extend your legs forwards, and let your back arch away from the ground. So if you can look at the back of my waist right now, actually all of us, mm -hmm. right, we have our backs arching away from the ground at this point. We're not working, we're just stretching. Our breathing is natural, right? normal breathing. So when there's no, no work involved, yeah, go ahead and let your back arch and just breathe normal. Right? But when we are working, the breathing changes and we try to maintain belly engaged. Uh, lower back, we do not arch it here, right? So keep your inner weight training belts for guys. Keep your inner corsets on for girls, right? When we're working, right? Now, this time, take your right leg up towards the ceiling and we're going to have our toes pointed, right? Hands can start off behind the knee for those of you who are less flexible. And if you're more flexible, walk your hands up closer towards your calf. Let's add a crunch here as well and extend your free leg forwards. So if you're more flexible, slide your hand up higher, pull your leg in closer. We're going to switch and pull. Inhale, single leg stretch, straight leg. Exhale, switch and pull. Inhale, exhale, three. Now, remember that bowl of soup, exhale, is still there. Inhale, and out. Five, and out. Chin the chest. If your neck starts to strain, crunch harder. Exhale. Let's do four more here, right? Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Last three. And out. Keep the neck long on either side. Two more. And switch. Let's do one more here. Inhale. And out. And stop. <sighs> Head down. Legs down. Look to one side. Look to the other side. Like I mentioned earlier, Having your neck feel a little bit tired or strained can be quite common in Pilates, especially if you're not used to using your abs. So if need be, for beginners, please put your head down, rest for a while. You know, do 8 out of the 10 that I'm asking if you need to, and gradually build it up, right? Now let's take both legs up to a coffee table once again. Hands resting on your knees or closer to your shins as we crunch up, right? So if you need to, you can do this movement with your head staying on the ground. Double leg stretch here. As you inhale, can you extend your legs and your arms away from you? Arms next to the face, legs reaching slightly closer to the ceiling. And then exhale, let's bring it back to start. Right? Now, if you can, the legs go slightly closer to the ground. Let's do 10 here. Right? Inhale, extend. And then exhale. Inhale, 2. Exhale, keep your belly wall firm. 
three, double leg stretch. Exhale, circle the arms if you can, pull. Four, inhale. Exhale, chin to the chest, look towards your knees. Inhale, five. Exhale, circle the arms. Inhale, six. Exhale. Let's do four more here. And out. Now, we didn't bring the knees in to rest. Last three. Exhale. Good. Two more. And out. One last one. Exhale. And stop. Lower the head down. Legs down. Look to the right. Look to the left. If you need to, go ahead and stretch your arms and legs. The, the abs, yeah. <laughs> No, don't worry, this is not the only thing that we're going to do today, all right? We'll switch positions later on. Okay, now, from here, have your both legs come back to where we just ended once again, but this time, one leg goes forwards, all right? Now, just watch me first, right? I'm going to have my hands go behind, and the opposite, think shoulder, not the elbow, because sometimes when we think elbow, we just tend to do this, and you'll notice that I'm not even rotating at all. So, I'm going to think shoulder towards the knee, and then I come back towards the center, I look at my knees. As I exhale, I switch over to the other side, and then I come back to the center, all right? So we're gonna do this together 10 times, all right? You'll be working all your abdominal muscles at the same time here, so the obliques as well. Make sure you get that twist there, all right? So hands behind, right leg in, left leg forwards. The higher your straight leg is to the ceiling, the easier, all right? So if you need to, hover it closer towards the ground. Now exhale, twist to the bend leg side. Inhale, center, and exhale, switch. Good. Inhale, center, and exhale, switch. This is two. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend your straight leg away from you. Inhale, center. Exhale, three. Shoulder blade higher off the ground. And exhale. And four. Four. Five. Look to the side. Inhale. Five. Exhale on the exertion. Six, elbows apart, six, very good, seven, extend, straight leg away from you, seven, extend, straight leg away from you, last three to go, exhale, inhale, switch, inhale, two more times, exhale, inhale, other side, now we got one more each way, all right, hang in there everybody, exhale, switch, Inhale, last one here, twist, and come back center. Stretch your arms back, legs away from you. While you are stretching here, take a sip of water as well. Hang on, you guys. All right, so we're going to be coming back in a very short while. Give us a minute. All right, and then we're going to be teaching you another few other exercises, right? See you soon. shine this morning so I'm Betsy I hope you guys stay with us throughout the first segment and now for the second segment I'm going to take you guys through some glute work so we always want to make sure our glutes are working well because it helps us walk run and to balance and lots of daily stuff that we need to use our glutes okay so without a delay let's get all of you to lie down to the side I'm going to start on my right side first so I'm going to have my elbows 
resting down on the floor. Just make sure you take a marking check for me, all right? So your elbows is just right under your shoulders and it's in line with your hips. My knees are slightly bent forward, so my body is actually in a nice straight line. So from here, I'm making sure I'm not rounding my spine. I am maintaining a nice long spine here by pushing my lower back through and keeping my abdominals in. Okay, now as your elbow is resting uh, on the floor, just making sure you're not sinking your shoulders down is very important. You need to activate some muscles just under your ribcage to create this lift right here. So you want to think of a bigger gap under your ribcage to the mat. Okay, now let's straighten our left leg out. So it is straight in line with my body and we're just going to hold this position first. Now as we're going to do the next exercise, we just want to make sure that your ribs are not going to sink. There's no movement in the body at all. You're holding up with your shoulders, with your rib cage, with your obliques and you're just maintaining this position. All right? I can put my hands on my hips or I can rest it on the floor, it's up to you. Okay, so inhale, we're just going to take a deep breath to prepare. Exhale, I would like all of you to lift off that leg. Just think of floating it up because as I emphasized, you don't want the body to move, right? And now slowly, let's lower it down with control. Let's go again, inhale, float that leg up. Exhale, now lowering down and return. Let's do 10 times here, inhale, lift up slow. Very good, exhale and lower. Now where you should be feeling is actually on your glutes, all right, your bumps. So somewhere just at the side, to the back, all right, and now lower. Is everyone feeling it? Five. <laughs> Does it matter and, how high I lift my legs? Uh, you should just lift it up to slightly above your hip. It really depends on everyone's range, okay? So if you go up this high, it means you're actually turning your leg outward, so that's wrong, right? And you don't want to move the body at all. All right, now we are down to six. Good, and we have four more. Seven, and lower. And three more, eight. I am actually starting to feel it already. Last two here, nine. Good job, last one here, and 10. Now let's hold it up there, okay? Let's check again, you're not sinking your shoulders, you're not sinking your rib cage, and from here, we're just going to pulse it up and down, small range, and 10, nine. My favorite exercise, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Now let's lower that leg down to rest for a while. Can you guys feel it? <laughs> oh, it's hard to keep a smile. Oh, it's hard to keep a smile, isn't it? All right, let's give, give ourselves the biggest smile right now. All right, so we still have two more exercises. So now I'm going to lift your leg up again to where your hip height is. Okay, now I'm going to dorsiflex my ankles, meaning I'm going to point my toes towards my knee. And I'm going to very slowly just move my leg forward now, making sure I'm not going too far and round my back. All right, I'm still maintaining a nice long spine here. And I'm just going to uh, swing my leg forward. Inhale, now I'm going to point my toes and pull it back slightly behind the midline of your body. Okay, let's go again. So from here, you should feel some glute squeezing. Okay, let's go forward again. Exhale, two. Inhale, now pull and squeeze. Let's do 10 again and three. And now pull and squeeze. Okay, checking your shoulders, checking your ribcage, and four. Now stay calm, everyone. <laughs> I know it's starting to burn. And five. And point. Very good, you have five more with me. Six. And now make sure you're not lowering the leg down too low, if you can. Seven. It's a bit of endurance here, right? Point and eight it's like you're fighting with your determination <laughs> last two here so you flex your ankles pull it forward inhale pull it back last one here dorsi flex pull and inhale let's pull it back good now let's come back to the midline i'm going to draw very small circles here all right y'all sound still with me <laughs> let's do five okay times and five four three, two, and one. I'm sorry, we have to reverse the other side. And five more times, five, four, three, and two, 
and one. All right, now my leg's shaking. I'm going to lower it down slightly. <laughs> okay, now let's put our left hand behind our head. We do a little bit of adding on uh, some crunches here, right to the side. So again, let's check that our ribcage is not sinking down. I think mine went down a little. Shoulders are still pushing you away. I feel some work on my shoulders as well. Hands behind your head. And are we ready? Inhale. Now I'm going to pull that knee up towards the ceiling and think of reaching the elbow towards my knee. Okay, a little bit of side crunch. And now you extend. Make sure your knee and your toes are pointing forward. Now let's turn the knee upwards and crunch for two. Inhale, extend long and feel the long body. Exhale, three, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Let's do 10 again. Exhale, four. Inhale now, lengthen up. Six more with me, five. And now lengthen, very good. And four more, six. So as you reach your knee to your elbow, you should feel a little bit of the sides of your waist working. Seven. And exhale, eight. Inhale, lengthen. Last two here, exhale, nine. When you lengthen up, push more with your shoulder. Last one here, exhale, ten. Inhale now, lengthen up, and now slowly bring that leg down, and let's sit up tall. <laughs> <laughs> now what we want to achieve for this exercise is to really work the muscles on the sides of your body, together with the sides of your glutes and the sides of your legs. Okay, now let's switch over to the other side. So I'm going to turn over to my left. Now mark your positions again. Question. Yeah. Yeah. So people who have shoulder issues, can they lay down on the ground? Okay, so for people who have shoulder issues and they don't feel comfortable here, they can totally do this lying down on the floor. But again, when they're doing this, just to make sure they're not sinking their body like they're relaxing, okay? They need to maintain a straight spine, but now it's horizontal. And they need to have a little bit of a lift under their ribcage to actually support uh, the spine. So we don't want the ribcage to collapse. So it's a little harder when you do it on your elbows. Going down on the mat is a little easier, so you can choose your modification. All right. So let's do the same thing as what we did just now. <laughs> okay. So to make it balanced. All right. Now elbows on the floor, directly under your shoulders. Try not to roll your shoulder blades forward. Keep your chest open, and you mark your nice position. Straighten your right leg out. Okay. Now let's rest the leg on the floor first. So inhale. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale, now let's lift the right leg off the floor, one. We all have a weaker side. I'm definitely weaker here. <laughs> and now let's go on, inhale, lift. Exhale, three. Now exercising is always learning about, you know, your body, or, you know, which side is weaker, which side is stronger, six. And we want to make sure we are working evenly for the left and right side. And seven. Good. And eight. Take it nice and slow. And nine. Good. And last one, ten. Let's hold it up at hip height. Now little pauses here for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, don't you guys like it? Six, <laughs> love it. Five, four, and three, and two, and one. And now let's lower the leg down to rest. <sighs> all right. Are so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But just make sure we are all keeping that shoulder pushing into the floor and lifting out our rib cage. All right. So now you don't want to compromise anything on the body. We don't want to, the body to be doing this in a bad position, bad posture. Okay, so now propping yourselves up. Float your right leg up again. <laughs> Straighten your legs. All right, now let's dorsiflex the ankle and swing that leg forward. Or rather, pull it forward. Now point your toes and squeeze the glutes, making sure you're not arching your lower back. You're just squeezing the bum slightly, okay? Let's go for nine more, two, and point your toes to pull. Looks easy, but it's tough. And three, and point. Do you all agree? I think those of us who are with, still with us, four, you will feel the burn now. And five. You did it on the other side, better finish it here. Yeah, man. And pull, squeeze. And five more, six. 
Now, if you're working with a mirror, it's best to see how you maintain that hip height with your legs. And seven. And now dorsiflex, pull it in. And now point to pull it back. Three more. And nine. And four. Last one here, dorsiflex. And pull that leg forward. Inhale, point your toes and pull it back. Now come back to center. Let's do a little bit of circles here. So, one circle, one. <laughs> come on, you're down two. We're not resting today. Three, four. It's all about endurance, right? Five. Now let's reverse the circle. And five, four, and three, two. I can barely move my leg anymore. Last one here. And now let's lower the leg down to rest. I feel it. Okay, <laughs> now let's add on the obliques here. So let's have our right hand behind our head. If you feel neck tension, just relax a little, turn over, and just, uh, you know, don't let the neck tense up too much. All right? Now once you're here, let's put our right hand behind your head. Lengthen up your right leg. Okay, now your knees and toes should be pointing forward. So you can see my knees and my toes. Now as I start to crunch, I'm going to bring my knees and toes pointing up towards the ceiling, crunch up. Your shoulders might sink a little, it's normal. And now as you lengthen up, you push away from the mat again. All right, let's go for two. Inhale, now lengthen up. Exhale, three, crunch. Inhale and lengthen. Make sure when you crunch, you're kind of still looking forward. You don't want to be looking at your knee, all right? If not, you'll be rotating body like I'm doing the wrong one here. And now lengthen up. And you have five more, six. Sorry, that was the wrong one. <laughs> now lengthen. Last four, seven. And now extend. Three more, eight. And now extend. Last two here, and nine. Inhale, now we extend. Last one here, and ten. Inhale, now we extend. Good job. And now lower that leg down. Let's sit up tall. And return. <laughs> I feel it on both sides of my bones. Okay, now let's give yourselves a little stretch. I'll like you guys to lay down on the mat again. And now let's do a figure of four stretch to help stretch out those muscles that we're working. Okay, let's cross your left ankle over your right knee. And you're going to pull your right knee towards your chest. Now, if this is okay for you and you still feel like you don't feel much of a stretch, please feel free to push your left knee away from you as you pull your right knee towards you. Okay, I'm definitely feeling something here. Okay, you can do the modification where you just have both hands behind your right knee and just pull the right knee towards your chest. Okay, now let's switch over to the other side. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and let's pull. Okay, and now let's release. Let's place our feet on the floor. Now I'd like you to keep your legs hip distance width apart. Try not to have your heels too far away from you. You want to come a little bit closer, okay? So from here, I'm going to maintain a nice long spine. I'm placing my hands on the floor, push my arms down, and now you want to curl the spine up from tailbone to your shoulder blades, okay? So we're going to work our glutes and our hamstrings now. So inhale, I'm going to stay here. Exhale, I'm going to close the gap under my spine and start to peel the spine off bone by bone into what we call shoulder bridge. <laughs> okay, so once you're here, you need to make sure you're squeezing your bum. It should feel a little harder than usual. And you need to keep your rib cage kind of sliding towards your belly button so you're not popping up the ribs. All right, now inhale, we stay here. Exhale, now slowly melt the spine down bone by bone and return back through imprint and back to neutral. Let's go one more time. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, now close the gap under your lower spine as I tilt my pubic bone higher. Start to curl up from tail to head. Now let's stay here for a while, all right? Maintain this position. Now squeeze your bum. Make sure they are active the whole time. Inhale, now I'd like you all to lift your again. Inhale, lift your heels up. Now you feel a little bit more engagement and now as you lower the heels down, you relax there. All right, three more. Inhale, heels up. You feel your calves, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> and now lower the heels down. Last two here. Inhale, heels up. Is it normal that I'm shaking? 
Yes, it's normal <laughs> and I'll lower the heels down. Absolutely normal. Last one here, inhale, heels up. Exhale, now let's bring the heels down. Let's stay in place here. I'd like you to just think of squeezing a book in between your knees. But you don't have to let it touch. All right, making sure your glutes are not sinking down. Inhale, just open it up slightly. Let's go for a few more. Exhale, now as you squeeze, you should feel your inner thighs. Inhale, open up slightly. Let's go for three more. Exhale, three. Inhale and open up. Exhale, four. Inhale and open up slightly. Last one here. Exhale, five. Inhale now, opening up. Okay, now if you guys are alright, stay with me. If not, you can roll the spine down to rest. Now just take it into a little bit of walking here, alright? Now make sure your pelvis stays level. You're going to try to shift your weight to your right leg. Lift your left leg up to tabletop. <laughs> okay, as best as you can, try not to let the bum sink down. Now let's lower the left foot down. Readjust if you need to. And now let's float the right leg up. And now slowly lowering down. And let's go for just two more sets and three. Good, and lower. Now you try not to cheat. You make sure you keep your hips up high. Okay, last two reps. And five. Still engaging your deep core muscles to make sure your body doesn't rotate. Last one here. And now as we lower the foot down, we adjust again. Then you slowly roll the spine down from upper back, middle back, lower back, and relax. Okay, it's quite normal to feel a little bit of lower back uh, work here. So if you feel it earlier on, don't worry, okay? It's quite normal with the exercise. Now let's roll up. <sighs> All right, and that's the end of segment two. We'll take a short break here before we go into the next segment. So stay with us, we have more exercises for you. again and I'm going to be leading you guys through some back strengthening exercises. Earlier on at the beginning of today's practice, you did hear me mention about what the core muscles are made of. For the moving ones, they include your abs, your back, your hips, your butt, your thighs. The last three, Betsy just tortured for you. <laughs> Earlier on, I worked on the abs for you. So now let's work on your back, right? We're going to all lay down on our stomachs. And what I want you to imagine here right now, okay, as you lay on your tummy, is there's a thumbtack, it's very sharp thumbtack under your belly. Now, I know you can't see me actually pulling my stomach away from that baby thumbtack, but I am. Meaning, I can't see even if you're doing the same thing as well, right? So, um, I do need you guys to feel like you are trying to do that, pulling your belly wall away from the ground instead of sagging everything down towards the ground. Um, so, you're going to have to feel that for me. What I want you to try to do right now is to extend your elbows out to the sides here. Yeah? So kind of like cactus arms, right? But you don't get to rest your elbows on the ground. Have our feet just resting on the ground here, toes pointed. If you need to separate your feet out wider, please go ahead and do that. But if you can, just a little bit closer. Now as you inhale, I'm going to just have you lift your chest up here. And then exhale, lower the chest to come down towards the ground. But the elbows don't touch the ground. Let's do this back extension here together. Ten times. Inhale, lift chest. But I'd like you to have your eyes looking down. And then exhale, lower it down towards the ground. And three, inhale, lift up. Keep your neck long. Exhale, lower it down slow. And four, inhale. So we don't drop. Exhale, we resist the lower. And five, inhale. Exhale, resist to lower. 
and six. Inhale. Now imagine I gave you a pencil. Exhale between your shoulder blades. Three more times. Inhale. I'd like you to imagine you're holding it. All right. Exhale. Lower down. Let's do two more here together. Inhale. Lift chest. And exhale, lower it down. One more time. Inhale, lift chest. And exhale, lower it down and relax. Place your forehead to rest on your hands and just breathe normally for a while. So you should feel it around this part here, behind your waist, right? But I'd like you to also at the same time use your buttocks um, to, to facilitate doing this movement mm -hmm. as well. Now we're going to have our arms extending out towards the front, okay? But watch. I'm going to have my arms lift up, but I keep them close to my face and my eyes look down. So at all times, I'd like you to keep the back of your neck long instead of compressed. There's nothing to look at in front. Look down towards the ground once we start the movement. All right? So I'm going to show you first. That way you don't have to keep looking towards me at the same time. All right? So as I lift chest, lift arms, exhale, I pull back. I try to bring my elbows closer towards my ribs. Inhale, forward, exhale, down, right? So one more time, it's inhale, up, pause, exhale, pull back, inhale, forward, exhale, down. I just demo two. You guys are going to do ten together, all right? Ready? <laughs> yeah, rest if you have to, okay? All right, keep your feet down towards the ground. Here we go. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, elbows, pull back. Inhale, forward, Superman. Exhale, lower it down. And two, up. Exhale, pull back. Now think about pulling armpits to waist. Inhale, forward. And exhale, lower it down. And three. Exhale, pull it back. Squeeze armpits closer towards the waist. Forward. And exhale, lower it down. Four, up. Exhale, pull. Good. Inhale, forward. And exhale, lower. And five, exhale. Now that pencil is there once again. Hold it between the shoulder blades. Forward and exhale. Let's do five more here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze. Pull back and forward. Exhale, down. Four more times to go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull it back. Float the chest. Look down. Forward and exhale. Three more. Make it good, all right? Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull it back. You guys can do it. Come on. Inhale, forward. It. Feeling it, yeah? Exhale. Two more times. Two more times. Up. Exhale, pull it back. <laughs> forward. And lower. Just one more time here, guys. Hang on. Inhale, up. And exhale, pull back. Forward. And everything down. All right, go ahead and slide your hands next to your ribs. Let's release the low back a little bit here, yeah? All right, press up. And then sit back into your shell stretch. Or in yoga, you call it child's pose, right? Just go ahead and walk your fingers closer towards the front of your mat, like spider, spider hands, right? And then just lower your chest closer towards the ground. Normal breathing here, right? Take an inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And then we come back on the stomach once again. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay, I cannot move. <laughs> yeah, my back is cramping. He's reluctant to come back. On <laughs> okay, so we go swimming, okay? Your favorite, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, no. swimmer, no. This guy is a swimmer, no? <laughs> Alright, so our arms go forwards. Watch. <clears throat> so again, you're, you're going to be looking down towards the ground later, so just watch first, yeah? My arms are lifting up, my legs are lifting up, but I've got one arm and leg higher than the other. Now watch, as I inhale and exhale, I'm going to be moving my arms and legs, but if you were to visualize the shoulders to the hips, all right, that's a rectangular box. This box does not move at all, okay? It's just your arms and your legs that move, nothing else does. If you need to, rest, okay? So we're going to be going inhale, exhale, that's one breath, we do 10 breaths, okay? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. the breaths be faster? No. <laughs> We are not sprinting, ah. Okay, so arms and legs off the ground. Right arm, left leg higher, and here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Just moving up and down. Three. Exhale. Making sure that the box doesn't move. Four. So the bowl of soup is behind your back. Exhale. Five. 
Exhale. Six. Breathing out, pushing air out. Seven. Exhale. Good. Last three here. You should feel it behind your waist. Keep your legs long. Exhale. Two more times. And out. One last one here. Inhale. And exhale. And stop. Relax. Okay, Mr. Yao Xiang, is this swimming easier or harder? <laughs> Very different. I love the coordination. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes. Me? <laughs> He's ignoring me now. Alright, slide your hands next to your ribs. Push up and sit back on the heels once again. Now go ahead and walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Alright, spider fingers, spider hands once again. Huh? And then keep your chest close to the ground as you breathe towards the back of your waist. One more time. And then slowly bring it across to your left side. Now these breaks in between are very important, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, just take another two more breaths here. And one more breath here. Alright, now come back onto your stomach once more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Just one last one here, alright? So, what I like about this movement here, as we go inhale, exhale, is how it works on the back of my arms mm. as well, alright? So, especially for ladies, you're concerned about, you know, the... Lady arm. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> move your arms faster. <laughs> but... Nothing moves but the arms. Okay, so we're going to lift the chest up. Eyes are going to look down. Show me the back of your neck. Keep it long. And then we're going to at the same time pump the arms up and down without letting that arm movement cause everything else to move as well. Mm. Right? So if you need to, smaller arm movements. If you can, bigger, faster. Okay, get ready. Inhale, exhale. Eyes look down. Here we go. And. And out. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Go bigger, higher if you can. Four. And out. Five. Exhale. Pumping the arms. Six. Exhale. So we're not moving from the wrists, yeah? Seven. Exhale. Let's do three more here. Inhale. Chin to chest. Exhale. Two more times. And out. One last here. Exhale. And stop, relax. Okay, that was the last one. Hands down. <laughs> Push up and sit back for the very... Yeah, 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 very last time. <laughs> Walk your hands forward and sit back onto your heels for the very last time. Just breathe normal in and out through the nose. We are going to stretch now. <laughs> okay, one more natural breath here. And then very slowly, roll yourselves to come up. Ah. So I'm going to address some of the areas that we worked on for today and just release the tension that may have built up um, along the way. Right? So we're going to have our left foot come over the right thigh or knee. For those who have difficulty doing this, this is what you do. I'm going to show you how it looks like from the side. Right? So the rest just stay here. For those who have difficulty placing your foot on top of the other leg, you're just going to have your legs this way, all right, and then place your left leg over your right, left over right. Walk your hands in one step, bring your foot in one step, and you should already feel, yeah, you probably feel it already, yeah, 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 okay, so if you have tightness, stay there, if not, Betsy, let's go ahead and walk it forwards, but chest leads the way down, so we don't just drop the forehead down towards the ground, all right, so the lower you go, Chest closer towards your legs, the deeper the stretch. And where you should feel is to the outside of your hip. Whichever leg is on top, you feel the stretch to the outside of the hip. Okay. Now, for people who do suffer from uh, sciatica, pain or numbness anywhere from the back of your hips, back of your thighs, outside of your thighs, your knees, even all the way down to your foot, um, this is a good stretch to be practicing every single day. All right, and then very slowly, Let's come on back up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Take your options. Now the other thing is if your foot doesn't really go on top of the opposite knee and it comes closer towards the hip instead, that's fine. As long as you reach forwards, you lean forwards and you feel that stretch in the same area, 
that's just how it looks like for you, right? So take the options if you need to, and then start to lean forward. Normal breathing in and out through your nose. And just holding it there for another three, another two, and one. Coming back up to a sit. Next. Let's have our feet go towards your left side. So it's like a bend number seven on each leg. Foot comes close uh, towards the opposite knee, right? So now from here, we're gonna have your left hand just hold onto your knee lightly or just rest down on the ground, perfectly fine. What I want you to try to do is to extend your other arm up and as you exhale, just lean across in the direction where your feet are and you should feel that stretch along the side of your torso here. Let's do another four more in this direction, right? As you exhale, just lean across towards the side and then inhale, come back up once again. And then three more, right? Exhale, inhale, come on back up. Two more. Some of you will feel that stretch across the front of your knee. Inhale, last two. Let's do one more here. And exhale, extending out to the side. And then inhale, coming back up. Place your hands down, switch it over. Let's go over to the other side. Take an inhale. Where your feet are, you're going there. Exhale, extending out. Woo! Inhale, hip pop. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, <Out> two. <laughs> out loud. Inhale, air bubbles releasing. And three. Exhale. Good. Inhale. And four. Exhale. Inhale. And one more time. Exhale, extending out to the side. Inhale, coming on back. And then placing both hands down. Good. Now, let's have both feet extending. I'm going to show you how this looks like from the, from the side. Actually, you know what? We'll all, we'll all face the side. Yeah. So we're going for the saw. All right. Now, what I like about this is how it stretches the back of the leg. So if you have problems sitting up tall, what I want you to make sure of is your back is straight. We're not going to do this exercise with a rounded back, right? So we're going to have your back flat. And if that means you have to keep your legs bent this way, so be it, right? If you can, straight legs. Right. If you need to, bend knees. Movement and breath are going to look and sound like... Now notice that I was actually looking backwards, right? because I want to keep the back of my, of my neck long. If I were to try to look at where my finger is going, notice what happened to the back of my neck. All right. So try to look backwards, if not at least down towards the floor. All right. So show me the back of your neck. We're going to try to saw off the baby toe. Quite disgusting, but very good for your hamstrings. <laughs> and stretching out the obliques uh, and lubricating the joints in your spine as well. So let's go four times each way. All right? Arms extend out to the sides. Point your toes towards you, so dorsiflex. Towards your left first. Inhale, saw the baby toe. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, coming up, twist. And exhale, exhale. Inhale, coming up, twist. Exhale, Exhale, inhale, super glue your butt down, yeah? Exhale, exhale, so the hips don't tilt. And reach, reach, inhale. Saw the baby toe, saw the baby toe. One last time here each way. Last one. Coming back up and stop. Well done. Inner thighs. And we're just gonna normal breathe here, all right? So bring your feet in closer towards you, hold on to your feet, and then you might wanna flatter it for a while as well, just pump around the, the hip joint. So what I like about this is how it really helps um, to not just stretch the inner thighs, but it's so good for the hip joints as well. Now keeping your back flat, if you have to, watch. Feet can come further towards the front. If not, heels come closer towards you. And we're gonna hold on to your feet here like it's a book. Top, thumbs in, fingers out. Open up that book and then bring your chest. Yeah, bring your chest closer. Yeah, towards your feet. And if that's the maximum and it looks like you're trying to come down already, <laughs> stay there. Alright, so you feel it around your, your inner thighs. Okay, so how far you go really depends on what your body allows you to do. As long as you feel the stretch, that's just how it looks like. Okay. So we're gonna hold it there for just one more breath. And slowly come on back up. Now face the front. Just a couple of stretches for the neck. And then we're going to drop your right ear 
towards the right shoulder. Just sit regular cross-legged and just feel that, that gentle stretch along the side of your neck. Now, whichever side that you're stretching or where your head goes, opposite hand comes out. Like you're trying to touch the floor, but you can't. Right? So just feel that stretch all the way down to where your shoulders are. And let's change it over to the other side. Hand tries to touch the floor, but you can't really do that. One more breath. And then slowly coming back towards the center. This concludes our practice for today. Thank you so much, Yao Xiang and Betsy. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. But I'd like to remind you to stay tuned for 10 o'clock with Kelly and Barbara at 10, uh, followed by, you know, we have afternoon sessions as well where you can stretch uh, with some of our athletes and coaches. Stay tuned for Tuesday classes as well if you're interested to learn some uh, healthy recipe. New TV channel 111 as well. All right, thank you so much everyone again. Thank you, Get Active TV. It's a fun morning with you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.